Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Another special guest. This time it's Craig Jacobus who taught J.P. Engelbrecht everything he knows. Everything he knows. In the world. In the world. How to shave. He'll tell you that too. Ride a bike. Exactly. Business. He tie falls, his shoes. He falls off the bike. <laughs> and because Craig is a fellow whiskey fan, I sprung one of my fancy ones on him. I'm, right? I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's so fancy, I don't have an actual bottle of this in the vault to replace it with. So that's... And this is from the Master of Malt. This is the McAllen Rare Cask. Now, if someone can send me a bottle or $800, then we'll get a bottle for the vault. Yeah. Huh. All please, right, then. Please forward it. We will have to leave. Oh. Uh, uh, things are going to start happening now. All right, man. It's all coming together. I am not touching this with water. We're not touching we're just, it. We're just going to drink it. Now, for information purposes, and we should be drinking while we talk about information. Yep. Okay. What's whiskey for but drinking? Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers to you, sir. Cheers, sir. Oh man. This is oh, a my. this is a wake up Shanghai whiskey. Oh. As in like it's so good and you drink so much of it. Next thing you know, you wake up chained <laughs> to an oar. To an oar? Yeah, yeah like yeah. four miles out to sea, and you're yes. like, oh damn it! Not again. Uh, <laughs> that that is spectacular. That is butter. That is just butter. It's butter with a hint of smoke, a little bit of oak wood. So they say that this is 16 different casks 16? of McAllen married together okay. to create the McAllen rare cask. Or maybe they mean, no, it's gotta be a mix together. There's no burn. It's absolutely, yeah. like you said, butter. It is so smooth. And this is, 43%, which remember mm -hmm. me saying that was the magic spot? That's a magic spot. Okay, so um, what we're going to do right after this, and still in this video, we're going to pull out the McAllen 12 and see what the difference is. Absolutely. Now, my opinion about Scotch, because remember, Scotch is my home territory. Right. That's where I come right. alive. To me, Scotch distilleries have a sweet spot mm -hmm. for what they're capable of. Not necessarily the best thing they've created, but the true nature of their distillery. Right. It comes alive between 12 and 16 years old. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Or 10 at the youngest, maybe. Okay. 18 is probably too high. So if you've got like a Oban, yep. their magic representation is 14. Right. Right. So that's the classic Oban. And I think uh, when it comes to McAllen, I have a sneaking suspicion, and I think JP suggested this, was that the 12 is sort of their, here's what McAllen is at its very core. And every other expression uh, is something that's a, a variation of the 12. And I have been a fan of 12 for at least 15 years. I was turned on to it as that first single malt experience. Mm, that's and hard it's to go just, wrong it's, with that. It's just hard to move away from it. So I'm very curious to see, because this is amazing. Yeah. But shall we? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so you know, and McAllen, oh, mm -hmm. I've almost lost my train of thought. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? I don't know. Uh, McAllen, has one of the best marketing departments of any Scotch distillery. They do uh, the McAllen Experience. They do meeting mm -hmm. meetups. I've been to two in Austin, and uh, their reps do an amazing job of creating a great experience for people, even if you're not a whiskey fan. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to learn how to market whiskey, McAllen's a distillery to watch. Yes. They do a good job. They tell stories. They're, they're, they humanize it. And, they, and my favorite thing about McAllen mm -hmm. is there's no snobbery coming from the McAllen distillery. Or at least not in any of the events I've ever been to. They, however you like to drink McAllen, that's the right way to drink it. Yeah, right. It, it, it's it's a high end everyday Scotch. Yes. I mean it really. Yeah. I mean that's it's the way classy, I like that. but it's for everyone. It's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like uh, Ava Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right. Okay. Are you ready? What did I hide it? I hide it. Hit it behind. Okay. Us. okay. All right. Now we're at twelve. Now. <clears throat> Now, the reason I don't normally default to McAllen, mm -hmm. even though it says Highland Single Malt, McAllen's a Speyside mm -hmm. whiskey, right? And you know that Speyside is a sub-region of Highland, mm -hmm. the way that Texas is a sub-region of the U.S., right? Right. And so technically, a Speyside whiskey can label itself Highland. It's a marketing choice. And why? Because more people have heard of Highlands than they've heard of Speyside. So McAllen, the fan. Now, Speyside... Um, 
They're famous for that sort of butterscotch yes. vibe, right? But McAllen finishes it with sherry, yes. which gives it that sort of nice light fruity notes. And um, they do a good job of not over smoking it, but they still add smoke. A lot of space side distilleries don't add smoke, and I think that makes it too sweet and pretty. But um, that's just me. I'm the guy who prefers to live in Isla, so of course I think it's too, <laughs> it's too pretty. I like the FU whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> or as they say in Scotland, F you! What a scotch! What scotch! <laughs> Cheers. Oh, see, but I recognize it. I still instantly recognize it. Even that McAllen Rare is just chock block full of markers of a McAllen distillery. Yeah, it's not as colorful as the very expensive bottle, but it's still pretty darn good. <laughs> I wonder, uh, no, it's the same alcohol percentage. It is. This one feels simpler. It is much simpler. But I wouldn't have projected that from the, I guess from the rare cask. I don't know. I don't know why that surprises me, but it surprises me. Yeah, there was, a, there, was a, there was much more going on with the rare cast. I was expecting this to be a little more aggressive. But it's, it's actually not. Nope. I wonder if the rare cast, even though it's rare, are younger barrels. Because that would explain the more vibrant... Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, it was much more vibrant. Without being harsh at all. But, but you see, you drink this and you go, oh, that's why people start with McAllen. Exactly. It's a gateway drug for scotch. Exactly. Certainly was All right, well, we'll finish these. <laughs> we'll finish these. And GP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return to us before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.